So I'm going to show a technique for injection of fingers, and we'll do on the dorsal surface or extensor surface a simulation of injection of either a PIP or MCP joint, and then turn the hand around on the palmar surface and show you an injection approach for flexor tendons. I'm going to use the L25 transducer. Normally, we would be dealing with a sterile field and a sterile gel, and most likely a transducer cover, which is also sterile. But for the purposes of this, we're just showing you a, an approach. If the joint is swollen and has synovitis or a joint effusion, it's quite easy to see the space that you're aiming for. This particular exam, we don't have that, that finding. Normally, for an injection into a small joint like this, I like to approach the joint with the transducer placed transversely in this type of a plane, and then have the needle in the same direction, parallel or in plane with the transducer. So my needle and my transducer are parallel, uh, and I'm going as superficial as possible with a very small needle, so it doesn't hurt, and trying to place the needle into the skin and in the one millimeter ultrasound beam into the target this way. On the other side, we'll be looking at a flexor tendon which travels in this direction. I will usually place the transducer longitudinally and approach with the needle in this direction. If you keep the needle parallel to the surface of the transducer, it shows up the best. The insertion point can be quite close to the transducer's edge, especially if you're going very superficially. Uh, in a small area like a finger or a tendon around here, you don't have a lot of space and so you have to go very close and can insert the needle very flat and superficially because there's very little space between the skin surface and the tendon. And here it's probably about two or three millimeters. Uh, and watch exactly where the tip of the needle and the bevel goes.